what we're doing with AI is to use cognitive computing, so effectively learning computers, to compose financial data with non-financial data. So, for example, things which are unstructured data, so this could be weather, it could be social media, that type of thing with financial data to try to give much greater insight in things like uh, revenue and profit forecasting. One thing we have done that's in the public domain is uh, Metro Pulse. Um, and this is about micro forecasting for um, uh, consumer products companies and retailers in urban environments. So this is using not only consumption data in retail stores but also weather and social media data about some of the brands, about some of the, lo the situations locally, which could be events, it could be festivals, um, it could be sentiment about particular types of products to help retailers get a much better grasp of what to stock. What we're seeing is a lot of automation of finance processes that were not tackled by enterprise software. Um, and a lot of these um, software robots are doing tasks which may be between applications or things that didn't get fixed by the use of the enterprise software. Um, easy to build, easy to program, very flexible, can interface with the underlying applications. If you want to populate a customer account with um, a credit card type of record, you can get a robot to do it. The robot can work 24 hours a day uh, without break, it can work at night and so on, and you just set it to program the, uh, the actual task itself. So one CFO said to me that the, uh, the past is definitely not the, uh, the, the, the forecaster of the future, but also the next three months are more uncertain than the next three years. So the challenge is a lot of things are changing, and so CEOs find that they need to um, use the finance department to help them with much more complex modeling. New competitors are coming in and competing with them, often from other industries with different business models and different funding. So finance is having to model not only the status quo, but also um, what would happen if a disruptor comes in, who could they be, how might they change the models, are our forms of revenue and the costs that we treat going to be the same uh, in those new business models. With those challenges, I think finance needs a better set of analytical skills and a better set of cognitive tools to allow them to advise the business in a much more insightful way than perhaps has been uh, done in the past.